Hi, hello and welcome to EC Deploys YouTube channel. In this session, we are going to see how to create an ECR repo, tag the Docker image and then pushing it to the ECR repo which we have created. So first of all, we will see what is uh, meant by uh, ECR. So uh, Amazon Elastic Container Registry is a fully managed Docker container registry where we can store the uh, Docker images share the images and then we can able to deploy those images into an EC2 instance or an ECS service. Uh, in this demo, uh, I am going to show you how to create an uh, AWS ECR repo and tag the image and push it into the ECR repo. So I have logged into my uh, AWS account and I am navigating to the Elastic Container Repository. So those are the repositories which are already available in my account. I am going to create a repository, new repository. So I am just going to name it as uh, uh, this as ECR push demo. Make sure uh, the name which you are giving is a unique name and I am not going to change the other options like uh, uh, immutability, image scan and encryption. I am going to give it as default and then I am going to just click on create repository. So uh, the ECR uh, repository, it is created. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, install the Docker file. Uh, there are two ways to uh, do this. So the first method is uh, ECR images can be tagged and pushed into the ECR repo in two ways. The first method is uh, we have to install the latest version of AWS CLI and then configure your AWS access keys and secret keys provided uh, your IAM user is having the uh, required permissions for ECR and then the second way is to uh, create a role and attach a managed policy named Amazon EC2 container registry full access and then assigning it to into the instance. So now in this session what we are going to do is we are going to see the second method where we are going to create a role and attach the policy and attach the role to the EC2 instance. So I am here, so I am navigating to the IAM, I am clicking on the roles, I am just going to create a role. So just create the, uh, click create role. So I am just going to uh, select the AWS service, I am just going to click the EC2, I am going to assign this role to the EC2 instance, so I am selecting the EC2. And I am going to click on the next, so here is the permission section, I am going to uh, add and manage the policy name you just type container registry here so in this this is the role amazon ec2 container registry full access select this role and click on next and then provide a name for the role so i am just uh, naming it as ecr full access and then description, I'm not going to add anything. I'm just going to click on create role. So the role is creating. Yeah, my role is created. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign this role to the EC2 instance. So just click on the actions, go to the security and then click on modify IAM role. So you just uh, uh, drop down this where you can uh, just type the uh, name of the role which we have created is the ECR full access. So just click on it and then update the IAM role. Now the role is assigned to the EC2 instance. Now uh, inside this EC2 instance what I am going to do is I am just going to install uh, the docker. So I am going to so this is an Amazon EC2 instance so I am just going to use the yum command to install the docker. Thank you. 
yeah it is uh, installed so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to start this docker service yeah it is started i'm just going to check the status of uh, this one yeah if you can see it is active the role it is active and running okay so now what i'm going to do is so there is no image present so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull a, a http image from the docker hub so i'm just going to run docker pull http Yeah. So if you can see execute the Docker images, you can find the latest image of which is uh, uh, which we have downloaded. Okay. So what I am now going to do is first uh, go to the uh, repository which we have created. Click on the repository. So uh, click on the view push commands which is here. So first I am going to uh, authenticate my Docker client to the registry. So first you need to copy this uh, command copy this command and then paste it here you don't have to change anything just execute it so if you can see the lo login is succeeded okay so now what i'm going to do is the second command which you can see here it is not required because this if you are building a docker uh, file then you can use the second one you can skip the second one now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to tag the image which is present here so i'm going to copy it here okay in this image i am just going to so before this i'll show you the existing tag which is present in the image which we have downloaded from the top hub so it is httpd colon latest is the uh, tag name of the image so what I'm going to do is here, here we need to give the, after docker tag is the command, here we need to give the existing tag which is present. So the existing tag is latest and then you need to have this command as it is and then after colon here in this command, this is ECR push demo is my repo name, after colon is the tag name. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tag it as docker hub http okay so if you can execute uh, the docker image there you can find two images one is the one which have pulled it from the docker hub and another one is the one which have newly tagged okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to push this image to the repo okay so i'm just going to copy this one and then uh, paste it here and then i am going to replace instead of latest the tag which i am having here is docker hub http so i am going to paste it here and then executing it okay so it is pushed now now we will go to the ecr repository and then you will see if the image is pushed here or not see the image it is pushed into the ecr repo which we have created so uh, this is how we have to create the uh, ecr repo and tag the image and pushing it into the ecr repo if you like this video click on the like share and subscribe button thank you easy deploy deploying cloud simplified